in May 2024, the banking system liquidity continued to be in the negative zone. Uh, just a month back, after a bout of spending, uh, government's cash surplus had risen to INR 3 trillion. This was on expected lines as government cash balances swelled due to lack of spending ahead of general elections. RBI had turned its focus on managing system liquidity through VRR auctions. In addition to these VRRs, RBI offered multiple buybacks, then weekly table auction size was also halved. The intention as of now is not to give any yield signal, but liquidity management. Later, at the, towards the end of the month, RBI announced a higher than budgeted dividend payment of INR 2.1 trillion. Due to this, government cash position has blossomed further. In coming weeks, as and when the government spends cash, it should lead to an injection of INR liquidity into the banking system. In addition to this, the FPI flows related to index inclusion are slated to start from end of June, which is a liquidity positive. In such situations, we can expect RBI to continue to manage liquidity using tactical tools such as reverse repo auctions and sell by FX forwards. As of now, we see low probability of a CRR high or issuance of MSS bond and bills, though the situation is still evolving. MPC outcome. The status quo of a June 24 MPC meeting is largely in line with market expectation. The upward revision in real GDP growth projection by 20 bips, though was not largely expected by the market, but given the momentum in the recent quarters, it doesn't come as a big surprise. Also note, we have now one more MPC member in dissent voting for a 25 basis point rate cut along with the change in stance to neutral. The RBI's policy rate of 6.5% amount to the real policy rate of 2% based on the central bank's uh, year ahead inflation projection. The neutral real policy rate can be estimated as being 1% to 1.5%. The real policy rate facing the industrial sector is even higher. This creates possibility of more members in MPC turning dovish in coming months, barring any food inflation shock or changes in, changes in fiscal policy. Watch out for final budget uh, uh, of FI 2025. The RBI again committed as uh, to being nimble and flexible in its liquidity management through main and fine tuning operations uh, in both excess and deficit situations. We have seen similar action uh, in the last couple of months. The recent general election outcome has given rise to speculation of uh, possible changes in fiscal consolidation plans. Any regime change has implication for priorities of fiscal policy. However, in this current scenario, we feel the setup allows government to manage the fiscal consolidation plan as forecasted earlier. The central government's target is to bring fiscal deficit down to 5.1% of GDP in FY25 and to 4.5% of GDP in FY26. If the incumbents had managed better tally, there was a possibility that pace of the fiscal consolidation would have even accelerated. However, under new reality, they can be pressured to provide more subsidies and welfare schemes to cater to the lower income and rural, rural sectors of the economy. We believe that fiscal deficit target will still be kept under 5.1% uh, of GDP for FY25. Further, it is also unlikely that FY26, a target of 4.5% of GDP will be missed. This uh, has given rise to the uncertainty premium in the market, which was otherwise pricing in continuity of the regime. Uh, this has led to a situation where 10-year yield has not been able to sustain levels below 7%, though it has tested that level three times in last one year. In global markets, some settled banks from advanced economies like Switzerland, Sweden, Canada and Euro region have begun their rate easing cycle during 2024. In US too, there are some signs of easing. However, market expectation of rate cut by the US Fed, which was higher earlier, have moderated subsequently. In India, on the long end of the curve, we have been pointing out two factors supporting the rates. The continued FPI inflows, post-bond index inclusion, and expectation of shallow rate cut cycle along with the continued macroeconomic stability. The latter expectation may see some adjustments with stronger economic data in India, but overall rates in India should remain well bent. In short term, there can be some small increase in G6 spread over policy rate due to speculation related to the possible regime change and as uncertainty premium has increased. However, in medium term, the possibilities of a shallow rate cut cycle remains intact. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risk. Read all scheme-related documents carefully.